In this video, we'll show you how to update your existing pay items so earnings can be reported correctly to the ATO for STP Phase 2 reporting. With Phase 1 of STP, the gross amount sent to the ATO contained different types of earnings depending on an employee's income type. These include items like paid leave, bonuses, director's fees and allowances. Now, under STP Phase 2 reporting, each of these items are being disaggregated out from the gross amount and are required to be itemised and reported separately to the ATO. The items requiring disaggregation are Director's Fees Bonuses and Commissions Allowances Overtime Paid Parental Leave Workers' Compensation Payments and lastly, Lump Sum Payments. If you pay your employees allowances, particularly all-purpose allowances as part of an award, you may need to take additional steps to ensure you are reporting correctly to the ATO. You can find more information on Zero Central to determine if this applies to your business. It's now time to take a look at the Pay Item Transition Tool, which will help you identify and replace any active pay items so that they can be reported correctly to the ATO as part of Phase 2 reporting. Remember, you must mark Step 1, which is the Employee Transition Tool, as complete before moving on to this step, which is Step 2, Pay Item Transition. First, let's head to the STP Phase 2 portal in Zero Payroll. So from the Payroll menu, we'll select Single Touch Payroll and then the STP Phase 2 tab. If I scroll down, you can see I've already completed Step 1, which is to update my employee profiles. Step 1 must be completed first, and this is because some earnings categories are incompatible with some employment relationships. So for example, working holiday makers cannot have any income classified as director's fees. And we'll take a look at an example of this shortly. Let's go ahead and begin updating our pay items. So I'll click replace pay items and this takes us to payroll settings and shows us a list of our pay items that we've already got set up. There are a range of pay items you may need to update the earnings category for in order for them to be reporting correctly. Let's look at an example. I have a number of bonus and commission pay items set up in payroll. Two of these are already reporting with the correct earnings category of bonuses and commissions, so they don't need to be replaced. However, the quarterly sales bonus is showing as ordinary time earnings, so this will need to be replaced. To do this, let's click the overflow menu and then replace. Firstly, I need to select the STP Phase 2 reporting category for the pay item quarterly sales bonus. So from the drop down, I'll choose bonuses and commissions, as this is a bonus payment. I'll click next, and we can now review the settings of our new pay item. On the left is our current pay item settings, and on the right is what Zero Payroll will change it to. What I will call out here is the PAYG settings. The previous bonus payment was set to be exempt from PAYG withholding. This is actually incorrect and Zero Payroll will now automatically apply PAYG withholding to earnings rates classified as bonuses and commissions through STP Phase 2. And you can read more about it by clicking the blue hyperlink here to the ATO's website. I'll click next to move on. Now it's time to view which employee pay templates will be updated with the new disaggregated pay item quarterly sales bonus. You can choose to exclude any employee pay template from this update by simply unchecking the tick box next to that employee's name. However, I want all my active employees to be STP Phase 2 compliant, so I'll check them all. We'll then click next to move to the final step which is to confirm what Zero Payroll will do on your behalf. You can see that a new pay item will be created, the current pay item will be marked as inactive, and we'll have four employee pay templates that will be updated with the new and correct pay item. So I'll click Confirm and Success. 
The pay item quarterly sales bonus will now be reported correctly with an earnings category of bonus and commissions instead of ordinary time earnings. If I navigate back to my pay item settings, and we'll see the quarterly sales bonus is correctly disaggregated and the prior pay item has been marked as inactive. Now, let's look at another example. Here we have a director's fee. This is currently reporting through STP as ordinary time earnings. However, we do need to replace this and report it correctly and we'll choose the earnings category of director's fees. So let's repeat the replacement process. We'll click the overflow menu and then replace. And from the drop down, I'll choose the reporting category as director's fees. I'll click next to move to step two. And we now need to review our current director fee pay item settings with what zero payroll will create for us. And we can see that our earnings category is updating. Let's click next to review our employee pay template. We have two employees whose template can be updated as their employment relationship meets the criteria for the director's fee earnings category. However, I can see that we have one employee pay template, Annabelle Peters, who can't be updated. And this is due to Annabelle being set up as a working holiday maker and is therefore ineligible to earn director's fees. This is why as part of the transition to STP phase two reporting, it's important to update all your employee records first prior to replacing your pay items as the employee relationship determines what type of income they are eligible for. So in this instance, Annabelle's pay template will not be updated. So we'll click next to move to the final step, which is confirming what Xero will do on your behalf. It will create the new pay item. It'll mark the current pay item as inactive and it will update two employee pay templates. So I'll go ahead and click confirm and success. The director's fee pay item will now be disaggregated from the gross and reported correctly to the ATO as director's fees. If I head back to pay item settings, we can see in the list that the director's fees earning category is now correct and our previous director's fee is now marked as inactive. The final step that we need to complete is we need to head back to the STP phase two portal and mark step two as complete. So let's go ahead and do this by scrolling back down and marking those pay items that we have reviewed and any that are not eligible or you don't have in your payroll settings, you can tick as NA. I'll click mark as complete and proceed. And we have now completed step two, replacing our pay items and we're ready for step three when that is available. Keep an eye on Zero Central for more support content to help guide you through the transition to single touch payroll phase two.